Dodgeball is a popular Team Fortress 2 mod game mode. It uses custom made maps and requires a plug-in to play. Dodgeball, as a concept and gameplay idea, has existed for longer than Team Fortress 2. It has even existed in different incarnations in older Source Engine games. For all intents and purposes, Team 2's version of Dodgeball has existed since May 2010. Dodgeball started to become popular in August 2010 and has peaked at its max popularity in June 2011. Today there are roughly 35 dodgeball servers running either full or part time. Dodgeball doesn't exist as one singular mod. Quite a few people have made a dodgeball plugin. The implications of this are the non-uniformity of the mods and the maps. For clarification, dodgeball maps have map prefixes. TFDB underscore, DB underscore, DBS underscore, etc. Maps belonging to one plugin don't usually function with the others and vice versa. Dodgeball also started off as a closed private mod. So what is Dodgeball? Dodgeball is a game mode where two teams of pyros flick rockets back and forth at each other to kill each other. Using the flamethrower's compression blast, pyros reflect homing rockets spawned on the map back at each other. In order to win a round, all players on the opposing team must be killed. Rounds are one life each. Many variants of the mod's gameplay exist. Normally one rocket is fired at a time, and the rocket increases in speed every time it is reflected. Aspects, such as the rocket's base damage, the rocket's turning power, and the number of rockets at a time, vary from server to server. Most servers disable players from dealing damage to the enemy directly. It's standard for secondary MLA weapons, as well as the flamethrower's fire damage to be disabled. A few rare servers do allow for dealing damage, however. Some even allow the rockets to be destroyed by flare gun projectiles. Dodgeball rockets lock onto players. When this occurs, depending on the server, a sound effect may play for the player who is targeted. The sound effect indicates to the player that they are targeted. Regardless of who a rocket is locked onto, any player in the same team can reflect a rocket if they are close enough to do so. Lock on rockets are core to the gameplay. Many skillful actions can be performed due to this gameplay mechanic. For example, the act of orbiting. This is what it's called when a player moves in such a way that the rocket locked onto them spins around them without actually hitting them. This move can be beneficial as it allows the player to reflect the rocket at a more preferable moment. It is also required if the player wishes to use the rocket to rocket jump. Alongside rockets, maps have a chance to spawn nukes. Nukes are modeled after the bomb cart's payload. They appear as flying error signs if the client hasn't downloaded custom files from the server. Their stats can be modified, but usually they deal significantly greater damage and have a significantly greater area effect than a standard rocket. It is normal for a nuke to kill many players on a team at once. Nukes usually play a beeping sound repeatedly as they fly through the air. Dodgeball maps vary greatly in aesthetics and function. Some maps have the two teams separate, while some maps have both teams together. Maps that have everyone all together allow for players to compression blast and push each other. The act of repeatedly pushing a player around is called juggling. Many players dislike this kind of map because they dislike being pushed around. Some maps contain hazards, such as instant death pits, trains, and saws. These kind of maps normally keep the two teams separated. Maps are generally flat, wide open, have tall ceilings, and have minimal pieces of scenery that would obstruct a rocket. Unlike most mod game modes, Dodgeball has a small competitive scene. Its competitive scene isn't very pronounced, but the rare dodgeball tournament has happened and could happen again. And that's basically dodgeball in a nutshell. A fun reflex and spatial awareness based game mode. A skillful exercise that can help improve a player's capacity to reflect projectiles. Thanks for watching. Like, Dave, and subscribe. Au revoir.